So I'm so proud of that project. I'm so proud of that project. Except for one part. It's one part of that that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my up there right now, like, nah, nah, I don't do that. But I gotta keep it 100 with y'all, right? I had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the game, right? <laughs> so all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my war time. Right? I want to see blood. And and I was conflicted because one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel that shit disrupts my peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and and in that trying to find a little angle and downplay this this uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest? He said, huh. he said a lot right there. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love Kendrick Lamar, correct? <laughs> As like do I. Radio. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lane like goofy and it made I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly and I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path mm. you know what I mean I pray that my really didn't feel no way and if he did I got my chin out take your best shot I'm gonna take that shit on the chin boy do what you do you know what I mean like mm. all good like it's it's love and I pray that you know I pray that y'all are like forgiven for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good i've been sleeping for the past 10 years so all of that to say man i want to i want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me yeah. of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with god and the name of the song is called love yours i want to do that Woo. Mm. all right hot fire mm. <laughs> a lot. so what did you guys think of the apology so I think the apology is fine, you know, coming from a Christian standpoint, it's what you're supposed to do. Then don't think J. Cole is a Christian. Not sure if he is or not. He's just using an expletive right before God's name. So, <laughs> I, I'm, 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 But I've been looking at the comments of his fans and they think that this is like really weak. And um, I, I saw one guy was like, man, I can't listen to your album anymore. Like it don't hit the same anymore. <laughs> like, I don't. This is weird to me. It's weird. So I. I the reaction made me um, realize how much of a bad place we're in as a society. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because it's like when I first heard it, I was like, "Oh man, that's 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 big of him to to say that." Because I mean, it was his friend; he had no problem with him. So if he was just peer pressured into it, he shouldn't he shouldn't have done it. Yeah. But then I saw all the reaction. I was like, um, I I understand why people are upset because they like he said they wanted blood. They wanted to see him go for that number one spot. The only thing I would tell Cole. This is the fruit of being double minded. <laughs> yeah. You're double minded. You 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 um you come off as somebody who is positive and you know godly, even though he's not a Christian necessarily, even though I he kind of he's a, a Muslim. He's, 
Is he? I've never I, heard him no, say that. I don't that. think he's Muslim. I think he's spiritual. On his album, he said all he do is talk to Farrakhan, so I'm assuming. Well, there's a lot of Christians that talk to Farrakhan. But what it shows me is that he's probably like a cultural Christian, like we've yeah. been saying. Yeah. Where he um, probably would say he believes in the God of the Bible, but not everything, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, but I think what the reaction he's getting is he's trying to live both worlds, where he's this positive guy, but then in all of his lyrics, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm coming for the number one spot. Anybody who want it can have it. Da, 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 da. Like, he's constantly saying that. Mm-hmm. So I think it's like, if you're not going to go all in and be truly godly and positive, you're going to have to accept what comes with braggadocious, violent <laughs> lyrics, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that, yeah. that what but, comes with it? Well, but, but isn't, isn't that, though, what hip hop was kind of built on, in a sense, right, on pride. And when I say pride, yeah. right, I'm the best rapper, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was Bronx versus Queens, right? And so, like, that's yeah. been carried out now for the last, you know, 50, 50 years, years. Yeah. okay? So I think what I saw here was J. Cole actually did something counter-cultural to hip-hop, yeah. right? He, mm-hmm. he, he, he participated with the tradition of, you know, um, entertaining the battle. Yeah. Right. But in his spirit, like he said, in his spirit, he ain't feel right about it. So he was at, he actually did something that wasn't on his heart to do. Yeah. Yeah. And so I actually saw this from a different standpoint, like maybe God is doing a work. Right. This is yeah. the beginning of a convicted seed that might be, you know what I mean, starting to brew in, in, in some sort of way, shape or form. I really I, I applaud him for what he did because because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I come from the, the, the world of rap. Right. Mm-hmm. And you're right. That's what we do. Right. If somebody says something about you in a song or remotely about you, mm-hmm. you clap back. That's yeah. just what you're, quote unquote, supposed to do. But tell me what other genre they do that in. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know what I mean? What other genre are we holding each other down by clapping at each other? Anita Baker. It's, <laughs> well, well, right, but it wasn't as glorified as this. You know what I mean? But yeah, you're right. You're right. Michael Jackson and Prince. And, and Prince right. Yeah. I get it. I just think, but, man. But not on, not on the songs. Right. The Christian side of me is like, man, great job. That's yeah. honorable. That's integral. The petty yeah. side of me like, bro, <laughs> like. We want a good show. We want some entertainment. And yeah. like you said, to really show show the carnality of our mind. Yeah. And we want to see two people to tear each other apart. But I also feel like in the spirit of hip hop, it don't necessarily have to be violent. It's like, okay, yeah. I don't have no problem with you. You don't have a problem with me. But let's just rap and just see who's the best but, rapper. But, but, but I think the saying? thing is this. He he's saying that he's saying that that one, he felt the pressure, and then two, that he tried to downplay something that he didn't believe. Yeah. So it's like he was rapping something that he didn't believe. So mm. in essence, he was right to say, I don't feel right in my spirit because yeah, I don't believe yeah. what I'm he saying. He shouldn't have done that. Yeah. 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 But I think he thinks, I think him and Kendrick has that same Kendrick spirit of mm-hmm. I could be positive yeah. and I could spit. He's double minded yeah. too. Yeah. It's the DMX, it's the DMX Tupac yeah. thing. Yeah. The duality yeah. of yeah. good and evil and which one should win. And why do I think I could I can make it I can make hit him up and also I can make Keep your head up, and then also mm-hmm. what I can make, you know, um, mm-hmm. um, get at me, dog, and mm-hmm. I'm ready to meet him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or yeah. Lord, give me a sign. So it's just that du- duality of. I think they say every human being has that duality of, yeah. like inside of you, where you were like, your basically it's your flesh and your mm-hmm. spirit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah. I think for him is he's got into that space where he's been killing people on records when they do features. They yeah. call him the feature killer. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now it's like you're saying you're the best. And everybody's saying like you're the guy right now, and you got an opportunity to show it because you're not part of that. You've never been battle tested. That's yep. another thing when people say you yep. in the culture. You've never been battle tested. You never had a battle, so we don't mm-hmm. know if you you really that good. So I think he 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 hit that wall and was like, man, this ain't right. I shouldn't be talk down playing his music when I know that he made good music. He made a lot of mistakes. So first of all, that first beat was whack. When it switched <laughs> to the conductor the beat, switch beat was dope. he should have started with that <laughs> yeah. and he could have just done his rapidy rapidy I'm the best thing yeah. without dissing yeah. Kendrick. Exactly. He could have just responded to the fact that he was included in the diss yeah. without yeah. actually dissing him back. Yeah. 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 Then no, he would have been fine. Because okay. Kendrick didn't really say that. All he, all he said to him was like, um, ain't no big three, it's just me. Yeah. So, I right. mean, he could have... It could have just been, yeah. okay, counterpoint, no, yeah. it's me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, just yeah. do that. So then now, what, what goes on now, still, right, where like, does Kendrick be like, Oh, now I really know how you felt about my music? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, you know, does he does he clap back? Or is J. Cole 
just that much of a genius that he did all this so Kendrick doesn't clap back. Well, man, but then, <laughs> I, mean, which I, I doubt it. But right still now. Kendrick, if Kendrick gonna clap regardless. Yeah. I think Kendrick on 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 that in that mode right now because everybody was talking about his last album was like the worst project he yeah. put out and all this stuff. So mm-hmm. he he trying to prove himself. I feel like re reprove himself. I feel yeah, like. no doubt. But it feels like it feels like in the sense though of the diss the diss tracks when they go back and forth like that. If you come out and you you almost pretty much wave the white flag to your opponent. And aren't you out at that moment? Like, yeah, like he's, out. he's done, right? He's out so, so if Kendrick comes back and let's just say is as bad as some of those other uh, diss albums out there, hit like, up. yeah, pff, God, <laughs> <laughs> hit him up was life changing for me, man. After I, I went oh, back God, and watched hit life. him up, <laughs> yes, I, I completely gave up road rage after that. I was like, no more playing you with life. Yo, like, you don't you play saw with the end life. of your anger. To this guy, I can't hear hit him up. It's, it's bad Dude. That was your guy Yeah And Dude. then at the end He played me He was like If you like bad boy You too I was like What <laughs> 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 do You know what was, you, But you know, you know What's the reality yeah, though I went back And looked at the timeline <laughs> <laughs> I, If you listen to Like the yeah. last rent He goes off In that in that song My phone Don't let your, co- your Bro go. Listen He died like Three months later After yeah. releasing that track That's yep. too close wow. yep. Too close to come <laughs> Discomfort. So anyway, so I'm saying like I feel like yeah, the white flag has been waved. There's nothing else you can do. Yeah. Um, he's just gonna get buried the next time. Well, I, I would just suggest um, for Cole. I, I, what I'm afraid is mm-hmm. this is he's gonna hear all this feedback of everybody basically writing him off. Like to me, people are done with him. Oh yeah. You they, see what they, Maul they, said? Yeah, that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but um, basically, just being like, but what it does show, what it opened my ears to is that's what you get. Yeah. You claim you were this bad yeah. dude. You could kill this person, that person. I'm the best this. Yeah. I'm the best that. I'll sleep with this one and that one. This is what you get. I don't feel bad for him. But it does show that you have to be uh, you have to be consistent. If you're going to be the good guy, be the good guy. Don't play around with this I'm half bad, half good stuff. <laughs> so what do you think his I, mindset was? Because he was on Future on um, New Project, the second half Future New Project. What do you, what do you think made him do that? Well, well that they was said before. that was pretty pre- old song. Yeah. 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 But I, think, I don't think we should judge... This is my personal opinion. Um, when a man, I think he's trying to transition. And a lot of times culture sees a man being vulnerable as a sign of weakness. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. saw it as a sign of strength. Yeah. No, well, I, I, yeah. Was, right? I was and proud so, of it. And so, and so a lot of times we look at it, oh, he's straddling the fence. Or maybe he's in that transition where God is pulling him one way, but he's still connected to the culture. Yeah. yeah. Right. And culture says. Yeah. No, you can't do that. You got to, like you said, you got to yeah. clap back, mm-hmm. right? And he's like, no, but that ain't who I'm trying to be. Right. So I'll mm-hmm. let y'all have that. Say what you want to say about me. Throw me under the bus. Say mm-hmm. I'm whack. Say I'm weak. Say I don't have no comeback. Y'all can have that. I'll let y'all yeah. have that because I'm trying to be a new man. The only difference is, is he has to make a decision because it, it could I cause agree. him to go True even that. deeper into mm-hmm. depravity. But, so. but he did say something so. in the beginning, right? He said, he said, I did this on my own accord, right? Yeah. Or I was working on my own accord. So I'm wondering if, like you said, if he's starting to dabble in more of a spiritual mindset, who yeah. knows what type of spirituality be talking here yeah but yeah. if if that's kind of where it's coming i see from. what you're doing you're trying to stall you're not gonna no, get no, away no. you're not gonna get away <laughs> no, with no, this no 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 what i was over time you no, know no no what i was gonna say was uh um, <laughs> this reminds me of sports oh, no, analogies <laughs> this reminds me of sports analogies when you have a really good wide receiver who's retiring from the league yeah because the new guy's in and everybody's talking about that person or you're bouncing from team to team and it's like okay you either go out on your own and retire just like hey i'm retiring or you get forced out 